Like Kunora Ju Ju Namaskar, greetings of the day. Good afternoon, everyone. So I am Shulab Chakma. I am doing masters in Buddhist studies, philosophy, and comparative religions at Nalanda University, India. So my presentation topic is Buddhist heritage in the Bengal with special references to the Buddha images of the Pala period. So in my presentation, I would try to give an account for the Buddhist heritage in the Bengal from the Pala period to present day. So my presentation will cover a brief introduction for my presentation, then how the name Bengal originated and what is the location for Bengal. Then um, what was the Buddhism in the early Bengal that is in Pala period? Then what was the main important features for Buddha images during the Pala period and um, how those features are relevant to the present day uh, Bangladeshi Buddhism. Then I would try to uh, give uh, an account for reformation and development of Theravada Buddhism in the Bangladesh. Then um, contemporary Buddhism, uh, how the monastic cultures in Bangladesh is growing, uh, then uh, I will uh, try to uh, conclude uh, with uh, giving the references for the source and materials for my research and this presentation. So you can see here, uh, this is the present day Bangladesh map, uh, uh, the physical map of uh, Bengal actually includes the present day Bangladesh, whole of present day Bangladesh and the West Bengal of India. Ramesh Chandra Muzumdar uh, wrote that the name Bengala actually derived when the Portuguese uh, came in the medieval period um, and uh, occupied this region, they named this region as Bengal. Then this Bengal include the present day Bangladesh as well as uh, West Bengal of India. So this is the physical boundary of Bengal. Uh, these are some important words on um, Bangladeshi Buddhism, Desert Theravada Buddhism in East Bengal, written by German Buddhologist Heinz Becher, Contemporary Buddhism in Bangladesh uh, by Sukamal Choudhury, Buddhism in Bangladesh by uh, uh, Rosen Hokar Smith, uh, Puspani Yogi Buddhism in NCN Bengal, uh, Horoposat Sastri, Discovery of Living Buddhism in Bengal, Nolini Kantabhatta Sali, who gave wonderful account for a Buddhist iconography as well as Brahmanical sculpture from the Bengal. Then Ramachandra Mozumdar, one of the greatest Indian historian uh, in his famous work, History of Bengal, gave an account for uh, Buddhism in the Bengal. So um, in Pala period, uh, 8th to 12th century, Buddhism became dominant in present day Bihar region as well as present-day Bengal, that includes West Bengal of India and Bangladesh. Fahian visited the region in 4th century, and Hyun Sang visited the region uh, in 7th century. Uh, Hyun Sang covered both Tamro Lipti, uh, that is in West Bengal of India, and Pundra Vardhana, uh, that is in uh, present-day Bangladesh. Tibetan historian Taranata also uh, given some uh, uh, important accounts uh, for the Buddhism in early Bengal, that means uh, during the Pala period, how is the uh, Buddhism in the Bengal? Famous uh, Tantric Siddhacharya Tilofa resided in Chitegong. His student was Narofa, who later uh, became prominent in the uh, Tantric uh, tradition of uh, Tibetan Buddhism. Naropa and Otis Dipankara both are believed to be masters in the Bikramsila Mohabihara in the 7th, 8th century. So that indicates that during the 7th to 8th century, uh, Tantric Buddhism appeared in the Bengal as well as uh, in Northern India. So this is the Pala period, uh, Pala Empire. Uh, that covers almost uh, uh, most of the northern Gangetic plain of uh, present-day India and uh, as well as uh, present-day Bangladesh during the 8th to 12th century. So uh, the, during the Pala period, uh, this is the uh, Nalanda Mohabihara, uh, present-day ruin of NCN Nalanda Mohabihara. And this is Bikramsila Mohabihara that also flourished during the Pala period. Uh, this is from Pura Mohabihara that flourished also in Pala period. Uh, that is situated in present-day Bangladesh. 
धर्मपाला So this is another uh, ancient Mahabihara uh, situated in Bangladesh, Jagaddala Mahabihara. These are the ruins for Jagaddala Mahabihara in Bangladesh. So during the Pala period, uh, we see that extensive use of uh, black stone uh, and most uh, important significant uh, uh, features of uh, Pala period Buddha images were uh, the Bhumi Esparsa Mudra. You, see, you can see Bhumi Esparsa Mudra. Likewise, here uh, in a single uh, rock carved uh, monolithic style Buddha statue, Bhumiya Sparsa Mudra, uh, associated with Astapratihariyo scenario, the eight great life events of uh, Buddha. That is his birth, Dhamma Chakka Pavatana, Mahapuri Nibbana, descended from uh, uh, Tusita heaven to, uh, sorry, Thapadingsa heaven to uh, Sankisha, all these uh, great life events of Buddha uh, and uh, tantric elements, uh, Marichi, uh, also depicted uh, in this uh, uh, Buddha statue, Buddha image. And that is in Jagadishpur, Nalanda. Another uh, uh, Bhumi export mudra from Pala period. And this one is uh, one of the five Dhani Buddhas uh, of uh, Pala period. So during the Pala period, we see extensive use of black basalt stone, monolithic style of visual narration, primacy on uh, Bhumi export mudra, Ostaputi Hario scenario, rich decoration, association of tantric god and goddesses. This are the important features of the Buddha images in uh, uh, Pala period, which are uh, different from Gandhara school Buddha images and Mothura school Buddha images. So uh, during the Pala period in Bengal, uh, the tradition of five Dani Buddhas uh, came into existence. Those are Boirochona, Aksobbo, Ratnasambhava, Omitabha, Amogasiddhi. This five Buddha tradition uh, was uh, started to flourish in Bengal. Uh, Nolini Kantabhata Sali gave account for uh, these five Dani Buddhas. This is uh, in Bangladesh Museum, present the Bangladesh Museum, one of the five Dani Buddhas. So you can see here, uh, 300 years old Buddha images. This one is uh, southeastern part of Bengal uh, by the border of Arakan of Myanmar. And this one in Chittagong Hill Treks, southeastern part of Bangladesh, where some uh, 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 14 ethnic minority people live. Uh, the major minority people of Bangladesh, Chakmas, who are Buddhist. Uh, so this is from Chakma kingdom uh, of uh, 300 years ago. So both the Buddha images are in Bhumi Espor Samudra, which indicate that um, uh, even much later, Buddhism in the southeastern Bengal are bearing uh, 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 influences from Pala period Buddha images. So uh, contemporary Buddhism in the Bengal. So these are the... Uh, uh, and see and religious text of the Chakma people of Chittagong Hill Treks of Bangladesh. Uh, they are the major uh, ethnic minority Buddhist people of Bangladesh. So their queen, Chakma queen, Rani Kalindi, invited Sangaraj Saramedha Mahastavira from Arakan in 1856. Uh, so uh, 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 Sangaraj Saramedha Mahastavira, uh, after his uh, coming in Chittagong Hill Treks region, development of Theravada traditions took place. And uh, we uh, see three main Nikayas uh, flourish, Sangaraja Nikaya, Mohatero Nikaya, and Parvottar Nikaya. So these are the main three Nikayas in present-day Bangladeshi Buddhism. So uh, in contemporary Buddhism, uh, there are total uh, 1,290 Buddhist temple in present-day Bangladesh. Then uh, Buddhist population in 2011 census was 0.62% uh, and 2022 uh, government population census, Buddhist population is 0.61%. 
so uh, major uh, ethnic buddhist people are chakmas boruas marmas and Muru. They are living in the Chittagong hill tracks, the southeastern part of Bangladesh. And Urao people, um, they are living in the northern region of Bangladesh. So you can see here uh, in the Chittagong hill tracks, southeastern part of Bangladesh, present day Bangladesh, uh, Buddhism bearing some influences from Myanmar architectural design of Buddhist art. You can see the monasteries uh, are uh, influenced by uh, Myanmar architectural design. Uh, Takma women uh, during a uh, religious ceremony. Buddhism in the Chittagong Hill tract of Bangladesh, the hilly and mountainous region of southeastern part of Bangladesh. Uh, monks are going for arms and uh, arms round, Pindacharana. So these were my references and bibliography. So this was uh, my presentation. Uh, Thank you for hearing me. Thank you, everyone, for uh, hearing me. And thank you, uh, International Conference for Pali and Buddhist Studies, for giving me the opportunity to participate in the conference. Thank you, everyone. Namaskar.